Stu, what do you take away from uh, the growth in your game this year? Um, I think I learned a lot about my game. I think I've learned you know, I can play more offense and also more defense. I think um, every year I continue to grow as a player, and now it's just working on that consistency of um, you know having it at, at an elite level every night. When you, uh, you take an injury over the course of the year, you're back and forth out of the lineup, how difficult is that to remain consistent? Yeah, it definitely is, um, you know, just because, you know, you need a couple games just to get uh, in, back into the swing of things. And, you know, I had a couple injuries, a couple of bumps and bruises, which was uh, unfortunate. But, um, you know, you're going to have that in your career. And, uh, you know, I just take it as a learning experience as well. You get to find out, too, uh, a little bit of what it takes to get to that next level, uh, getting exposed to it. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, it's definitely a, a really fast game up there and a really structured game. And uh, just to get a taste of it was really good for me, I think. And um, I tried to make the most of it. And hopefully uh, I can be back up there sometime soon. This team over the course of this year, a uh, lot of youth in the lineup. In fact, it's the youngest team in the American Hockey League. Uh, did you find that drove a lot of the enthusiasm late in the year? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, we've got young guys like myself and, you know, we got a couple of 94s and uh, even, you know, Willie Nealander is a pretty special player. So I think um, we try to bring, you know, enthusiasm to the rink every day. And, um, you know, that definitely helps, uh, I guess, you know, the older guys that uh, help lead us as well. So I think uh, it was a great mixture of guys and, um, you know, we had a great strong finish to the season, even though that, uh, you know, we lost yesterday. What do you do uh, this summer to grow your game? Uh, I think I just continue to work out and, um, you know, make sure my diet's uh, proper throughout the summer. I think I've been doing it well the last couple of years and it's really helped me. So um, I'm just going to try and focus on that and, uh, you know, rest up and get ready to go for next season. On the ice, I guess what's next for you as you look to make the jump and become a Toronto Maple Leaf next season? Yeah, I think, um, you know, just continue to work on my skating and uh, I think that's the biggest thing, my skating and my strength. And uh, if I can do that, uh, I feel, feel pretty confident, uh, you know, in my play. You mentioned the structure of the NHL game. Do you almost feel that uh, perhaps a more structured game lends itself more to your strengths? And uh, you obviously played a very tight system in the OHL, and the AHL can kind of be uh, a bit all over the place at times. Do you think that that kind of rigid structure helps you out a little bit? Yeah, possibly. I always try to use all my teammates on the ice and work together out there. And, um, you know, it gets more structured every level, and uh, it's definitely really structured up there. So. Um, Hopefully, uh, I can uh, you know, just continue and um, you know, hopefully get there next year. Uh, yeah, obviously, you mentioned consistency as the focal point of how you want to grow yourself. How do you develop that consistency? Um, I think it can just be focused every night. I think um, you know, when you play a great game, that becomes your new uh, focal point in um, you know, performing. So I think you know, once you raise that level of play, you just got to you know, find it every night. And uh, that's a tough thing for a younger player. But um, I think I'm getting better at it every single, you know, every single day and every single year.